All right, let me go get ready for my freaking uh, the head on now. Y'all need to get my shoes and socks on. I don't think I'm leaving to five or six, but I'm just gonna get ready ahead of time. I don't think I'm leaving to five or six though. You see my socks? Hmm. Maybe I need to exit out. For some reason, I think it doesn't glitch or something. I need to exit out and come back here. Yeah, yeah I think there's a glitch. Oh, okay, no, it's not. I don't think there's a glitch. Either. Hey, Belinda Arnold. Hey, Belinda Arnold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're jogging back and forth but have you running far. They're jogging back. I mean, no, not running. It'll have you walking long distance. Yeah, that was jogging back and forth. I could walk up to eight hours. Well, most of the time, uh, when I do take a long walk, I get like a little old five hours in. But there was one time I got eight hours in. Yeah. Yeah. I got eight hours in and I could have I could have walked a lot longer. I was about to come back on as soon as I got home and filled my water bottles back up. I was about to go out and get another walk in. Cause I didn't even have blisters on my feet after walking eight hours. Used to, I could walk as long as I want, when I want. Rip and run around town getting a hundred to two hundred miles in a day. Just taking whatever one nailed down. Me and my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? They said, what are you doing? But now, but now, now I can't, you know, I can only walk up to a little over eight hours. You know, I could probably get 10, 12 hours in. You know what I'm saying? Because I walked eight hours one day, and uh, I checked the time it was when I left and the time when I got back, and I got me a little, uh, little over eight hours in. But I wanted to go back out and walk some more. But then when I got home, I was like, nah, forget it. I'm just going to. Lay in bed and chill, watch TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish I could still walk how I used to walk. I used to, I say, yeah, I used to walk well over 100, maybe 200, a little over 200 miles a day. You know what I'm saying? We was from Case Creek to East End to Winburn, Master's Station, Cardinal Valley, uh, Alexander Drive, freaking, uh, well, 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 West End, freaking, uh, Hollow Creek, uh, Wood Hill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we was like that 10, over 10 times a day, over 20 times a day. We was every neighborhood, door to door. My my homie, my homie had a drug problem. My homie had a drug problem, so he'd go door to door selling boots and selling jeans and selling shirts that he done got from this store, that store, the Savage Shelf and Good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, you know, just stuff that he done got when he was out roaming about, you know, so he had a drug problem. We was just, and I would roll with him having his back, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he said when I was there, it made people want to spend more money because back then he said they was intimidated. I, I can't see nobody being intimidated by me now, but back then, back then I was ruthless. I was crazy back then, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he he said he want me there with him to get his back and everything. And he said people come up off more money when I'm there because I just be sitting the eyeball with people. <laughs> I go to people's houses, I didn't let up. I just be sitting there staring at everybody, and they would avoid contact, eye contact with me back in the day, yeah, cause I was about some, I was about some, some scrapping, I was about some scrapping and some brawling, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they say people ain't scared to fight. Well, either they were scared to fight me back then, or they didn't want this little skinny dude making them look bad back then, cause I made a lot of people look bad. A lot of people t 
10 times my size, 20 times my size, twice my size, looked bad back in the day. And then you still in North Carolina? You already know. You already know. Now I'm not in North Carolina, I'm in Kentucky. I'm in Kentucky. Kentucky. I ain't gonna tell y'all where I'm at in Kentucky. I ain't gonna tell y'all where I'm at in Kentucky. And then, yeah. <laughs> But y'all, y'all know where I'm at. It ain't hard. It ain't hard to know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It ain't hard to tell where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know. You know. You know. You know. Honey, baby, back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Go Wildcats. Wildcats. The home of the Wildcats. Go Cardinals. Go Cardinals. Why I'm at. Go Cardinals. Go Cards. <clears throat> I want my baby, 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 baby. I want my baby, 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 baby. baby. Michelle. Uh, uh, S-T-I. Jimmy. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. And Bobby Cassans. 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 You Murray? No, I'm not Murray. I'm not Murray. And barbecue sound, and barbecue sound, and barbecue, and barbecue, and barbecue sound, and barbecue sound, and barbecue, and barbecue, and barbecue sound. Chilling, baby, bang, I want my baby, bang, and barbecue sound, and barbecue sound. Chilling, baby. Bobby Kassan, have I out? Chili, baby bag rim, baby bag rim, and Bobby Kassan, and Bobby Kassan, and Bobby, and Bobby, and Bobby Kassan. Chili, baby bag rim, baby bag rim, and Bobby Kassan, and Bobby Kassan, and Bobby Kassan, and Bobby Kassan. When I tell you I love you, I'm in it long and forever. But she see what's going down in the underground. And she don't like me now, she never do. Oh, I, thought that, I, thought her foot, I thought her foot stepped. I could swear that cat was come walking out. The cat come walking out in my business. Heard me out here singing, talking about, do you like egg rolls? Yeah, I like egg rolls. I love egg rolls. Yeah. I used to hate them when I was a kid. I used to hate some egg rolls when I was a kid. You know, they asked me if I want egg rolls when I eat fast food, when I go out eating Chinese food when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, you want some egg they, they, they count everybody's head, they want egg rolls. They count everybody's head, they want egg rolls. And I tell them, no, nah, I don't want no egg rolls. I never did get egg rolls. I never did get egg rolls. You know what I'm saying? I tell them I don't want none. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't start liking egg rolls to like maybe, maybe, I started liking egg rolls a little over 20 years ago. A little over 20 years ago, I started liking egg rolls, yeah. Yeah. A little over 20 years ago, I started liking them, yeah. Yeah. I started liking egg rolls when I was in my, early, no, my, my mid, my, my mid-20s, like 23, 24, 25 years old. Well, I got locked up, put in prison when I was 25, so I was probably about 23, 24. I first started eating egg rolls, where I go General Souls chicken. General Souls chicken and get that, uh, the General Souls chicken. I got the General General Souls. They serve different meals. Uh, you live alone? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I get the General Souls chicken meal. I get the General Souls chicken meal, and they get egg rolls with it. I, I started eating egg rolls when I was like 
23, 24 years old, I started enjoying them. The food that I didn't touch when I was a kid because I was picky. Because I thought it looked, it looked nasty. Like, I thought green peppers and onions and stuff looked like little bugs, little slimy bugs and stuff. I started eating stuff like that when I grew up. I was like, yeah, I just wanted to try other, try stuff like that when I was older. Yeah, I want picky when I go to, I like orange sugar, yeah. Cause I like make my own, they, and they are so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so the, you went to prison for what? You seem so calm. Well, we ain't getting into all that. We ain't getting into all that. We ain't getting into why I went to prison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We ain't gonna get into all that. Yeah. Why you went to prison this and so why you went to prison that. So, hey, how are you? Right, let me go get the rest of my stuff on. Let me go get the rest of my stuff on. Alright, I'm back, y'all. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm something that you never had. And then, uh, you will get be blocked. Don't start yourself. You will be. What's that? He, he ate some kid slice of pizza. That's why he went to. Oh, don't block 217. That's my homeboy. Don't block 217, he just played around. Yeah. No, that's my homeboy, he just played around. He said, I took a slice of pizza. Took a slice of pizza. You got a baby for you? Hey, Cliff, how are you? What's that? What's that? I know Cliff forever. Oh, that's, two, that's 217. That's 217. He used to be out here all the time. Almost every day I was on live. But he graduated high school, got him a got him a job making making windows or putting in windows or something. He be busy now. Yeah. Work life work life got him miserable. He can't even do what he want now. He can't even do what he want now. Yeah. He gotta go to work every day. Can't be on TikTok like that no more. And then, and then okay, where is that cat? Where's the cat? Uh the cat's back there sleeping, is it? Where is the cat? The cat back there sleeping, yeah. <laughs> cat back there rolled up in them sheets sleeping. Yeah. I want my chimney, baby, back, man. 
Chin and bam, 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 ribs and barbecue sound. And barbecue sound. And barbecue. And barbecue. And barbecue. 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 Barbecue sound. The all the running created hella buggers, yeah? They be doing that. They be doing that. It's, it's all them toxins coming out through your nose and your pores in your skin. The pores in your face, the pores in your hair, the pores everywhere. They're sweating and them toxins coming out in the buggers. You know, the eye buggers, when you dig in your eyes, you pull all kinds of gunk out your eyes, all them toxins coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is. And then only more go, only more go to mine. Oh yeah, only more go to mine. Yeah, maybe I could take some of that gold and sell it. And then maybe I could take some of that gold and sell it. You know what I'm saying? So, so while you have your coat on again, because I I think I'm leaving five six o'clock, leaving around five six o'clock to go get some stuff from Walmart. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to put my coat on ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Put my coat on ahead of time. Ahead of time. Ahead of the times. Ahead of the times. Ahead of the times. Is it is it okay? It's only four oh four. We have five, six o'clock and be here before you know. It. Five, six o'clock, I'll be here before you know it. Hey, Nika Boo. Hey, Nika Boo. said, you need a ride? Do I need a ride? I'm getting a ride. I'm getting a ride. I said, that's a nice jacket. Yeah, I got it for Christmas. Like, I got the jacket for Christmas. I got the jacket for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I got it for Christmas. That I need a new puffer, new puffer. Yeah, new. You know, this is all. This ain't no bubble jacket. This ain't no. It look like a bubble jacket, but it ain't no bubble jacket. Yeah. Boys in the hood, young player with an attitude. Six block, six block, Trey Deuce. Six block, Trey Deuce. And then where are you going at six? Why am I going going to Walmart? Well, he told he just told me we're gonna leave around dinner time. He did he didn't say six. He just said we're gonna leave around dinner time. He said that yesterday. So I'm not sure if it's four, five, or six, or seven. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I I gotta give me some raisins. Some cat food, some cat litter. Cat food, cat litter, raisins. Yeah. 
Try to get the club, pull it up right now, put it down with the piece of it. Huh. You need some money? Uh, a little money won't help. A little money won't help. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could probably use a little money, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to get everything I need to get, you know. Yeah, I might have to put some stuff back on the shelf, but yeah. I could use a little bit, yeah. yeah. But most of the stuff we're getting with the food stamp card. And then the Catler, the Catler is $17. And the Kitty Litter is $11. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know, so I'm gonna raise and then he's getting him some groceries with the food stamp card and us, us some more groceries, us some more groceries and stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I could use a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for the cat, the cat food and cat litter, cause you can't buy that with food stamp. Yeah. But yeah, well, my cash up, yeah, my cash up is a dollar sign, two, three, three, four, lowercase sign. Yeah. But I plan, I plan, I, no, I just plan on going on there and putting the cat litter in the trunk and the kid, the cat food in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Is it, I'm going to need a Venmo, sir. I don't have Venmo. I don't have Venmo. Everybody talking about Venmo. I don't have Venmo. Yeah. You know how hard it was to set up Cash App? Zell. You know how hard it was to set up Cash App? It was hard as heck to set up Cash App. It was hard as heck to set up Cash App. You know what I'm saying? It was real hard to set up Cash App. Yeah. And I can't check my cash app until after I get off live. I can't check my cash app until after I get off live, yeah. I can't check my cash app until after I get off live because my cash app on this iPod. Yeah. Do you have Zelle? No, I don't have Zelle. Uh, that's nice of you to send him money. Yeah. What, what is Zelle? I don't know what Zelle is. They got all these different apps to send money. I don't know what these apps are. And I, I don't remember how, how, I mean, if I, oh yeah, I set up Cash App by myself. I just kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. And finally, I got it, I got it set up. And then, uh, and then click what the topic in here. What's the topic? You know, I ain't no topics being my love. I just be talking, we be talking about random stuff in here. Don't be no topics in here. Yeah. A lot of times, I just be cold, cold silence. Cold freaking silence. Cold freaking silence and nothing. Just cold freaking silence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The topic of today is what would you do for $100 billion? What would you do for $100 billion? And I'm going to ask the questions. Would you, for $900 billion, for $900 billion, would you drink out of the the toilet for $100 billion?
Who would do that for one hundred billion dollars? You know, because they got people making smoothies, putting caramel milk and chocolate and uh, all kinds of different drinks up, little smoothie drinks up in the toilet, and then taking a straw. But it never so it shows them putting their lips to it with a straw. But on TikTok, it never shows them sucking it out the straw. It just shows them putting the straws in the water and doing like that, and then the video cut off. You know what I'm saying? It shows the same thing in a bathtub. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, these people know good darn the well. They're not drinking out of the toilet. And they're not drinking out of the bathtub. They said, like, I would. I would do it. And no smoothie drink. I better, better toilet than taking a straw. But I never. Well, I mean, I w as much as I would want to drink out of the toilet for $900 billion. I mean, $100 billion. I think I could... Drink a small a small glass like that much going across the bottom. But if I had to drink a whole glass, I don't know if I could do it. Yeah. Oh man, that's a, that's a lot. Oh man. Yeah. But a small if I could take just a sip, not even drink all everything going across the bottom that much going over. If I could just take a small sip, I would do it. Just like if I could take some chocolate, if y'all know what I mean by I say chocolate, some chocolate and just the Dab it on my tongue like that. And then and get 900 billion. But if I had to eat a whole whole piece of chocolate, I couldn't do it. And I'm not talking about chocolate that you buy in the store. I'm talking about if I had to eat, eat a whole piece of chocolate, I couldn't do it. And then is the toilet clean or dirty? I could definitely do it from a clean toilet. From a toilet that ain't never been used. Oh, I could definitely do it. If, I, if somebody cleaned the toilet with bleach. If somebody cleaned the toilet with bleach, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? They clean it with bleach, you know what I'm saying? They flush the toilet several times. I still look at it like it's dirty. I still look at it like it's filthy. I couldn't do it. I could take a little sip. But I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Now, is the toilet clean or dirty? The toilet's dirty. The toilet's dirty. It's got yellow water in there. Brown babies swimming around. Yeah. Oh man, I got brown baby swimming around. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, that 900 billion, it'd be all oh, man. I would want to do it. I would want to do it so bad, but I don't know if I could just drink a whole glass of that stuff. Yeah. If they said take a sip, I could take a sip. I could take a sip. And they said, uh, I said, I'm lost. Why are we talking about drinking? Uh, the, now I'm saying, would y'all do it for one hundred billion dollars? Would y'all do it for one hundred billion dollars? Yeah, yeah. The drink a cup of chocolate milk. Well, what I well, we ain't talking about chocolate milk. We're talking about some other chocolate. We're talking about that type of chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Could I drink a cup? I could take a sip of it. I couldn't drink the whole cup for not one hundred. I said, can I take a sip? Can I just take a sip and get down my lips and? Swallow, swallow just a sip of it, you know what I mean? For not one hundred billion dollars, I could have drank the whole thing. I don't know. Oh man, I feel sick. Like every time I eat food for the next five, ten years, I probably feel feel like feel like my mouth is foul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's all over my food. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a drink. Of, okay. Yeah. I right, know. So now what we gonna say? Would y'all, would y'all for one hundred billion dollars, for one hundred billion dollars, would you go out there? If, uh, animal was flat, and ran over and sit out. An uh, animal got ran over in the street. Would you go out there two weeks later and it's still laying out there? And it's hot. It's summertime. It's summertime. It's hot outside. And laid out there for two weeks. Would you go out there? Cut a piece of meat out of it, with uh, you know, with the you know, the pocket thing that you open up. Would you cut a piece of meat out of it and eat it? Is that oh okay? Now nah, I'm good. That I could do it. I could do it. I don't. You you know, if it's been sitting out there for two weeks, I that'll make you sick. I seen a dude eat a minnow. A dude ate a minnow on TikTok. I don't know if it was a real video. He was in a... It showed a bunch of clips. He ate the minnow. And then it showed a clip of him in the hospital. And his mom yelling at him. Calling him all kinds of names. Talking about... Uh, just a raw minnow. You know what I'm saying? 
and he got real sick. So I, it might make you real sick. But we don't, okay, check this out. We ain't even gonna do all that. If it, uh, if it, it just got ran over and it's been sitting out there for two or three minutes and it had just got ran over, I would do it. I would take a piece of meat out of it and eat it raw. Is that I could do it, you know what I'm saying? But if it's been sitting out there for two weeks, I'm thinking I might get sick, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the only reason I'm living. But if I could go without getting sick, if I knew I wasn't going to get sick, I'd cut a piece of meat out of it and been sitting out there for two weeks and eat it, you know what I'm saying? I could do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if God promises me, no, you're not going to get sick, go ahead and get this money. If God talked to me, man, you go ahead and do it, I would do it, you know what I'm saying? But I'd be afraid I'm going to get sick and be in the hospital all bent over, yeah. Yeah. But if it just if it just now got ran over and it's only been sitting out that one, two, three minutes, I'll be out there. Yeah. I could do it. Alright, now what we gonna say? Alright, we're gonna do something, uh, we gonna do let me think. The dust money's that accumulate on the floor. If you go like like you got a tile floor like this, you know how dust and dirt accumulates real bit bad on the floor when you got a tile floor, you know what I'm saying? Or a, a hard, a fake, a fake hardwood floor with a plastic wood coat over it, and dust and stuff accumulate real, uh, real good. Okay, would y'all, would y'all freaking, uh, would y'all take a pile of dust bunnies, put it in your mouth, chew it, and try to swallow it for one hundred billion dollars? Oh man, I don't think I could do that. I could eat the raw animal just, 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 just got ran over, take a piece of meat out. I could I, I have a phobia about dust, about dust buddies and stuff. And just hairs in my mouth, it just grosses me out so bad, yeah. Because I, I used to always get hairs in my mouth because I had little girls staying with me and my brother's baby mom say, and they get the hairs, you track them from the floor in your bed. You wake up, you feel something in your air, putting out long, freaking clear people's hairs and stuff. And I'm like, oh, just, and then coming all the way from the back, going along your tongue and through your teeth and everything. You can just feel it pouring it out. And it would just gross me out so bad. And dust bunnies just gross me out so bad. I guess dust bunnies got hair and lint and everything else. So, and then I could do it for $100 billion. Dust bunnies just took a handful in my mouth and just chew on it, try to swallow it. I don't even think you'd be able to get it down. A dust bunny, I don't even think you'd be able to get it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the. That's more questions act that's more questionable act acts. Yes, I can, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not as nasty as the chocolate or the animal, but and I that's funny, it's just they got herbs and everything else and I couldn't do it. Yeah. And if you can swallow it because it's so dusty and so dry, you just spit it out after you keep it in your mouth, chew it up, and spit it out. Get some water, rinse, and try to get everything. And you're going to be pulling stuff out your mouth for hours. Just little leftover particles of hair and little, little stringy dust, like dust like hair and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Even when you rinse, you're going to be pulling stuff out. Yeah. And then for hours, I said, why are you going to do with all that money, though? Well, if I did lick the chocolate, uh, take a piece of the animal that got hit in the road, take a piece I needed and that got paid for it, if somebody did promise me that much money, if I was on a game show or something, or like, uh, something like that, and I, it, was, it, was, it was live, and I knew I was going to get the money for real, but uh, the dust buddies, I couldn't do it, yeah. But what I would do with all that money, I would probably get me a big old three-bedroom house out massive. My mama got a big old three-bedroom house. It's upstairs, downstairs. Big old living room, big old kitchen, freaking uh, uh, a, 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 a room. Uh, I've I, I never been upstairs, but it's got the rooms upstairs, the big old downstairs. Yeah, this this house, this house is two story. It's big. You know what I'm saying? And this is only a two bedroom, a three bedroom apartment ain't even that big. But her three bedroom house is huge. I would probably get me a three bedroom house. Give me two cars for the freaking parking lot. I mean, the garage and the parking lot, two cars, put the rest of the money in the bank, want to spend nothing, eat at soup kitchens every day, eat at soup kitchens every day, go to clover banks every day, get stuff, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I couldn't apply, I, I couldn't apply for food stamps, so what I would do, if I got that much money, I wouldn't even get social security no more, so I would go get a freaking job, and the money I make with the job, that's where I'd be spending on groceries and you know what I'm saying? Freaking, uh, uh, just groceries, you know what I'm saying? 
and I would eat. No, matter of fact, I wouldn't be able to eat at the soup kitchen if I had a job. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even go to soup because if I had that much money, they would cut off my social security check. So I would go get a freaking job. Let that money sit in the bank. Don't touch nothing. The money I make at the job, that's why I would spend why, on food and clothes and stuff like that. And you know what I do? I would have two outfits. I would have two outfits in my closet. Uh, I would have an all black outfit. With some all black boots or some and, a, a, and a all black pair of tennis shoes, and I would have what other color outfit? I would have an all what other color outfit? The other outfit would have a red, blue, and white shirt. You know what I'm saying? T-shirt, and I would have like several jackets in there and like ten thermos. And I need my thermos for winter and ten ten pairs of sweatpants. You know to put on under my my jeans, my black jeans. And the other outfit would be. One outfit would be all black, but I would have my winter gear, my thermals, and my sweatpants that layer up under in the wintertime. And then uh, I would freaking, my, my other stuff, and my other uh, summer outfit would probably, it'd be a bunch of different colors. The jeans would be different color. The shirt would be, it'd be a bunch of mismatch looking stuff for the daytime. My all black would be for nighttime. I go out at nighttime, and I would have my work clothes in there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. But I would get a job, and I would just have billions and billions. If they pay me billions to do some na eat some nasty stuff, have billions in the bank, and then freaking get a job, and you know, wouldn't spend nothing in the bank. Everything I spend would be the money I make at the job. You know what I mean? Is that why you sitting there with your coat on, Cliff? Because I'm about, I'm gonna leave and go to Walmart in a couple hours, so I'm getting I'm already ready. So, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's what I would do. And then when I die, when I die, who would I have in the will when I die? Who would I have in the will when I die? Do I want to give that money to anybody? I wouldn't give the money to nobody. It all go to I'm gonna help them out with the money in the bank. But when I got my when I'm working a job, I would help my friends out. Yeah. Because I would only have to pay every year. I would put enough away to pay my whatever I got paid on taxes, or mortgage, or whatever it is every year you pay. When you pay off on the house, I'm not sure what it is. I had to figure it out. But I probably never had that much money. But if I had that much money, I would figure it out. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna help, I would help people out with groceries. Yeah, I would cash out people and stuff and help people out with groceries. But uh, that money in the bank, I want to touch. I would help people out with that job money. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would still try to sign up for food stamps. I would still try to sign up for food stamps, even though I most likely won't get it when I'm working a job. You know what I'm saying? And I would still go to the the food pantries. I would still go to the food pantries. I would have my case. No, that's why I want to have a caseworker because I'm a billionaire. So I want to have a case. Well, I'm not a billionaire, but if I did become it, I want to have a caseworker because I wouldn't even get Social Security no more. So. Yeah, how would I get to the food pantry if I'm working a job? I would have to have my car. I would have to have somebody living with me because I don't know how to drive. They can drive me around. I, basically, you live with me. You can eat the food in the fridge. Do not eat everything. And don't touch none of my stuff. I just want you to drive me around when I need to go somewhere. Because then have somebody living with me. They could drive me around. I just sit in the back seat just chilling. While you drive me around just chilling. Okay. And that have me in there, have have you in there? <laughs> that you can you cooking dinner today? If I cook a dinner, uh probably later on tonight, so if I would have somebody drive me around that way when I want to go get go to the food pantry, they could drive me to the food pantry. You know what I'm saying? I keep my keys to my car in both my cars in my pocket. And when I get, so that way they're not driving the car when I'm not home. When I'm not home, they ain't driving my car. Wasting my gas money, cost me gas money and stuff. You know what I mean? I would catch the bus to work. I have my two cars in the parking lot because I don't know how to drive. And when I get out of work, I would go to a food pantry. And then I would cash out people too with a little bit of money I make for doing my work. Uh, working a job or cash out my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I cash out people now. I cash out certain people now. You know, I cash out certain people. I don't cash out everybody, but I cash out certain people now. And when when I got a little bit, 
I cash out that gold, that gold digging heifer that was milking me for I cash out her over eight hundred dollars, over eight hundred something dollars. Yeah. Well, not not all at once, but all together, yeah, it was over eight hundred dollars. I got I got other friends that I cash out several times. Yeah. And so, so basically, you would be living the same. I, yeah, I would be living the same. I'd be living the same if I was a billionaire. Because if you buy a big old mansion, guess what? That's going to be more money out your pocket. If you buy a smaller house, that's going to be less money out your pocket every year. If you buy a big house, that's going to be a lot of money out your pocket every year. Yeah. So I would still be living like I'm living now, letting that money in the bank double in interest. You know what I'm saying? And I would, sometimes I would help people. And you know what I'm saying? Well, no, matter of fact, I wouldn't even help nobody. You know why? When I work a job, no, nah, I take that back. I wouldn't help nobody. You know why? Because if I'm a billionaire, I got billions in a bank from eating some nasty stuff, and they gave me billions, then uh, I wouldn't even help people because I need to be making money. If I'm helping people with groceries today, you know what I'm saying? I'll be Scrooge McDuck. I'll be Scrooge McFreaking Duck. You know what I'm saying? I'll be stacking all that money out of work that I'm working for. I'll be stacking all that freaking money. I wouldn't even be putting groceries in my house. I wouldn't even be putting groceries in my house. You know what I'm mean? I'll be eating at work. I'll be eating at work. I'll be eating at work. They could deduct it out my check. I'm eating lunch break. I'm going to get something at work. They could deduct it out my check. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll probably be working at Kroger or Walmart. Or something. I'll go get some, get some baked chicken, some baked chicken, and have one piece. You know what I'm saying? Now I have two pieces to get me through the day, moving all that moving around, collecting shopping carts. You collect them shopping carts and bring them back in. And then I have my third piece when I get home. Uh yeah, I wouldn't even help you out. I'd be Scrooge McDuck, Scrooge McDuck for real. I'd be stacking that freaking money if I was a billionaire that I'm that I'm out working and putting as much away as I can, as much in the bank as I can. Yeah, I take that back because I'm helping people buy groceries and all this stuff. I'll be stuck having that money in the bank. I don't know how how often that money grow in interest. I don't know. Did they say it grow good in interest when you got a bunch of billions and millions and millions of billions of dollars in the bank? They say grow. I don't know nothing about it. I, I know it grows, but how often does it grow? How fast does it grow? So that money I'm working job, I'm be keeping all that money, putting as much away as I can. Stack, 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 stack. Yeah. What the username? Of having all that, what's the use of having all that money then? Oh, uh, what's the use of having all that money? To be rich, to be rich, and then all the women, all the women, they never gave me the time of day, or they led me on and pretend like they care about me, and never met with me face to face. They all be coming back, all flooding to me on TikTok. Clip this, clip that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. Y'all ain't getting nothing from me. You think I don't see? I seen through you. I seen through you when we was going out before I had anything. You know what I'm saying? I said, no. Y'all ain't coming back now. Y'all ain't coming back now. I said, you wouldn't invest your money to keep it growing. I, I, if I knew how to invest it, I would. I don't know how to invest money. I don't know nothing about all that. Why would you just buy what? What wouldn't you just buy some land? Uh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I buy a house and I buy some land. I buy a big old piece of land. You know what I'm saying? And I will build all kinds of houses on that land. And they better not try to charge me for the houses I build on that land. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'll probably buy some land on the island somewhere. Because United States is going to charge me for every house that I build on that land. They're going to charge me all property taxes every year. I buy island outside. I buy island outside of the United States, and I I I need to have I get a lawyer, do some research on this island, and see what I can build to see if this government over here is going to try to rip me off on land taxes and all this stuff. And if the government over there don't try, don't don't want that now you from paying for that buying that island. I'm going to build all kinds of stuff on that island. All kinds of houses, buildings, and prop mansions on that island. You know what I'm saying? As a, 
Why would you just file an I What if the bank shut down? As a you would invest your money to keep it growing. Oh yeah, I would invest it. Yeah, if I, I if I figured out how to invest it, I don't know how to invest though. I don't know how to invest it. So you better give Cliff some kitty kitty. I said uh, <laughs> I said hey Cliff, hey Leo love, hey Leo love, yeah. But uh, yeah. I will buy an island on the gov on the government island, cause it's probably the island's probably a part of another country, and I'm I'm buy an island where they don't charge land taxes, where they don't charge property taxes every year, and I will build a I will build a utopia on that on that island, build a utopia on that island, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm not talking about utopia like these little reality shows where they build that little that little that little homemade utopia with a little, 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 little yeah, I'm talking about like houses, matches and houses that look like they look in the United States. Not one of them little I, reality shows where they're building stuff that look like Swiss Family Robinson, where they're building little fortresses that look like the Swiss Family Robinson movie up in the trees and everything. Little, little houses up in the street. Nah, I'm talking about stuff that look like this apartment. Those apartments all up and down the street. The how the buildings downtown. I would have people over there. I would have Mexicans over there, paying them dirt cheap, paying them dirt cheap to build my utopia. My utopia. Yeah. Why do you have on a coat? Because I'm going somewhere soon. You coat? Now I'm going. I'm leaving soon. Yeah. I would have some Mexicans over there working for dirt cheap, and you. I would have a. I would even have a house for the Mexicans. I, mean, I would even have a house, for them, and they'd be my workers. You know what I'm saying? And they'd be living in my house. You know what I'm saying? And living in my house together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd be. I'd, I'd treat my workers, and I'd give them their place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have my have my workers there. They'd be living on my property, just in case I want something else built. Go and build this. Go and build that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would have, and I would, uh, have, but how would I get food? How would I get food if I'm living on the island? I mean, they got fish in the sea, crabs and all that stuff on the islands, you know what I'm saying? I guess we, no, I can't eat seafood every day, yeah. Mercury. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't, uh, you can't have these, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, you can, uh, yeah. So basically, I would have an island be living somewhere over here with the island with all kinds of properties on it because I'd be living over here because the grocery stores are close by. Can't eat seafood every day. They got probably got bananas and coconuts on the island. Can you, uh, can't, I mean, you can eat that, but I don't think you can survive off that bananas and coconuts. Yeah. I think you need some sort of protein, like some type of vegetable protein. If you don't want vegetable protein, you have to have uh, animal protein. Yeah. And then you code while you have on a coat in the house. Why you ask so, so why you ask dumb questions? Sound like modern day slavery? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah. So make club pull up right. I could give a bunch of ten percent. Bam bam bam, clack clack play, clack clack play. Put them in a box, I'll see you don't make it, don't do me. You ain't talking about book, get out my face. Put up in the middle. Put them 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 in the middle. Run the city like marathon. The devil down, the baby down. The how long you been sitting there with your coat on? Probably about 35, 45 minutes. Why, Leo Love, why are y'all so worried about the jacket? 
Why are you, I'm just getting ready because I'm leaving in a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? Why are y'all so bent up, hell, heck, heck, bent on the jacket? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's now clear there. Leo, give him a ride to the store. Yeah, give me a ride to the, to the store. You so worried about the jacket. You so heavy, man. Give me a ride to the store. And as soon as I get back from the store, I can take the jacket off and you ain't got to worry about the jacket no more. You know what I Run the city like marathon. Because it looked like you cold, like there no heat in your crib. That's all. You people are so judgy. You people are so judgy. It look like I'm cold. You know when the heat's on? You know the heat's been on all day. I've been sitting in a tank top and I've been cold all day. Even when I was jogging, I was freezing cold in my tank top. The heat been on all day. I've been cold all day. But that ain't why I got the coat on. I got the coat on because I'm leaving in a couple hours and I need to get ready. I got my shoes on, my socks on, my wallet in both pockets. I got two wallets, the wallet in this pocket, wallet in this pocket. I got that steel, that steel, they got that steel thing in this pocket. It was like I got, a, got my chapstick in this pocket, got my keys in this pocket, one key in this pocket. Oh, yeah. yeah. Leo, Leo pay his light bill there. Oh, yeah, pay my electric bill there. Pay my life bill. Yeah. You know, go invest some money in my apartment so I can get some some heat that will blow harder. Some heat that blow harder and come out a lot hotter. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my bills paid. She's just trying to get her bills paid, yeah. Yeah. I give up, what's your 10%? Right, black I spray, black I spray. Put them in the box, I say, but man, 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 baby. You ain't talking money, but he got my fees. I'm pull up in the with a pussy, bit of bit of bit of bit of Move in with Cliff, he got you covered. Ah, oh, no, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want nobody moving in with me. Yeah. Run the city like marathon. What is that?
Oh yeah, she she is the gay, ain't she? She is the gay, ain't she? Who is this? Who is this talking about they trying to make a love connection? You sound real. I wonder if it's hot outside right now. The sun is shining, but I need to go outside and see if it's hot now. It's not supposed to, it looks like it's warm. Let me, let me go for a second set of Flush it too much fat.
where you went, I went uh, to fill up my water, and I'm, I'm about to get some sugar milk, and I'm about to go outside. I'm about to go outside just to see if uh, see if it's warm. It look warm outside. Let me go outside for a second to see if it's warm. Cause it look warm outside. It's not supposed to be thirty something degrees. Well, it looks warm, but it's not warm. It looks warm, but it's not warm at all. Yeah. Not warm at all. You know what that still magnolia is? I said, I don't even know what that still magnolia is, but I call that thing to protect you from them things that go bump and bump in the night. I call that the still magnolia. Because they say, what, what is a still magnolia? I said, I don't even know what the what a still magnolia really is, but I call it the still magnolia, the thing to protect you from things that go bump in the night. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call it, still magnolia. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's the right word for it. Yeah. I got that still magnolia in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? And a still magnolia ain't necessarily got to be what you think it is. It's a still magnolia can be anything. Yeah, it could be anything that protects you from the things that go bump in the night. It ain't necessarily got to be what y'all think it is. There's all kinds of stuff, different forms and fashions of still magnolias. There's all kinds of forms and fashions of still magnolias. It's not just one thing. There's probably hundreds if not thousands of different things that can protect you from the things that go bump, bump in the night. You know what I mean? Yeah. The still magnolias. We got them still magnolias. We got those still magnolias instead of. Hello. Hold on. I can't see because of glare. Is that hello, Bean Fam? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Tammy Johnson? Tammy Johnson Snotson? Swanson? Let me smell it. It expires in a couple days. No, it's what's today? It expires on the twenty first. Yeah, I think today is the nineteenth. No, still magnolias. You know what I'm saying? Magnolia. You got a naughty clap. Is that you making ice cream? Of course. Now I'm making sugar milk. Making sugar milk. That's not good for you. It's not good at all. Uh, you a lie. It's not good for you, but it's. It's not good for you, but it tastes so good. Is that keep on freezing? Oh yeah, keep on freezing because I did something. I'm gonna exit it out and exit back in. Yeah, that's the fourth. That's my fourth scoop. My fifth scoop and sixth scoop. Sixth scoop. Scoop. Boop scoop. Boop scoop. Boop scoop. Boop scoop. Boop scoop. What I'm eating, having sugar milk, having sugar milk.
Is it? Just did all that cardio? And what about it? What about the cardio? I just did all that cardio. So when I drink stuff like this, it's gonna keep me from getting doughy. Go keep me from getting chunky. You said Hayden likes sugar milk? Hayden likes sugar milk? Yeah. I love some sugar milk. Hayden see me drinking in it. Hayden see me drinking, and you made him his first cup of sugar milk when you see me drinking, didn't you? Didn't you, Tammy? You got that idea off me, didn't you, Tammy? And then, Okay, that's what's okay. That was up. I ain't mad at you. Yeah. What is that? I said you've been drinking that for a couple of years now. I've been drinking it since I was a kid. I've been drinking it since I was a kid before I got put in the state's custody. Yeah, the sugar. And milk, milk, yeah, come on, sugar milk. You need to go ahead, go ahead, make you a cup. Take a spoon like this, fill it, fill it up halfway. Take six scoops, six full scoops on the spoon. Put it in there. That's all you need. It's a sugar milk fire, yes, fire. I know you see me doing it too something. I know you got the idea on me too something. I'll put you up on game. I put Tammy up on game. Everybody drink sugar milk up here. I'll put them up on game. I have six scoops, yes. Six. They thirty count. Thirty calories a piece, six scoop. Uh I had all my nieces and nephews drinking it. They see me drinking sugar milk. They're like, what that tastes like? All my nieces and nephews, they see me drinking, they say, what that tastes like? Instead of, I like Kool-Aid, they say, it's like the milk when you're finished the cereal. Yeah. Yeah, like the milk when you finish the cereal. But uh, my niece and nephew, I was like, sugar milk, so let me make you a glass. Then the other one, I want a glass too. And then all of them, like, I want a glass. So I made them all sugar milk. None of them liked it except for my oldest nephew. Well, the oldest nephew are my older brother's kids. He ain't the oldest nephew. He's the oldest of my older brother's kid. <clears throat> he was drinking all the time. The milk was going so fast. His mama got on. Y'all need to quit. Y'all, you need to quit drinking that sugar milk. She, uh, we, we can't even keep milk, and the kids ain't got no milk for no cereal. So he quit drinking the sugar milk. You know what I'm saying? I was still drinking sugar milk though, cause I didn't go overboard with it. I didn't go overboard with it, cause I didn't drink all the milk. The kids still had, you know, plenty of milk to eat their cereal when I drank sugar milk. Yeah. Is that it's cold? Yes, yeah, cold outside. It's cold outside. Yes. Mash a banana up in the sugar milk. It's delicious. Almond is great. Almond milk is great. The vanilla almond milk is delicious. I had the, the first for the first time. I had the van vanilla almond milk. It's delicious. What's I saying? Mash a banana up. You crazy? That sound disgusting, Tammy. That sound disgusting.
maybe you take some bananas and you take some bananas and put some sugar and put it in a blender with the milk, put it in a blender. That sounds like it might be decent, but I still want to try it, you know what I mean? But just matching it up with the spoon, no. Nah. It's good like a banana milkshake. Oh, okay, banana milkshake. Okay, okay. Right. Why are you on my lap with your claws in it? Get out. Get out. Get out. Got your claws all up in me, boy. Got your claws all up in the sea. Pretty still like marathon, like marathon. Behind it, behind it, the best way. Uh, don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, blend it. The blend is the best way. Okay, okay, blend is the best. I said behind. I blend is the best way. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I just, I, I don't like banana milk. Now, I guess I do like banana milkshakes. But just a homemade banana milkshake just don't sound good to me. Yeah. Actually, I don't ever think I've had a banana milkshake. I've had chocolate milkshakes, strawberry milkshakes. Freaking, uh. I don't know. Yeah, ice cream, bananas, and clip that say blend. That's what I said. I said blend. I said blend. At first I said beyond, and now I said blend it the best way. At first I said behind the best way. Now I said blend. I already, I was ahead of you. I was ahead of you, Mira. I was already ahead of you. Yeah. I was ahead of you before you ever put that comment right there. Anything... Anything with flavor don't sound good to you, Cliff. Is that I promise it's good. Oh, I love flavor. I just had sugar milk, lovely co. I just had sugar milk. Yeah. I just had sugar and milk. Yeah, instead of you eat bananas with fish. Who are you to say you don't like something? Uh <laughs> hey, 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 I don't like something. Yeah. And then a banana milkshake with cinnamon and a little vanilla is good. That sounds good. Now, that sounds good, KMB. Can't be, but just banana by itself with sugar and the milk, it don't sound good. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. But the part, most likely it is good. Most likely the banana milkshake is good. That's all it is, is milk, banana, sugar, and uh, some other stuff, yeah. Yeah, looks like that's good. I need to try one. Ice cream, banana, strawberry, or ice cream, banana, strawberry. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, ice cream. I don't like banana splits. I don't like banana splits or strawberries in my ice cream. Now, I like strawberry ice cream, but not like fruit. I don't like fruit chunks. I like whole pieces of fruit in my ice cream. Yeah. But I like the ban the banana flavor. I I know. I mean the strawberry flavor ice cream. I like the chocolate flavored ice cream. I like the what other kind of flavor ice cream? I like the Talentis, the Gelato's Talentis ice cream. I can't. I ain't had them in so long. Yeah. Raw bananas are sweet by itself. Is a taking, take, talking about blending. Oh, blending the strawberry with the ice cream. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, bananas and oh, okay, okay, they're sweet body. Yeah, they yeah they are. Yeah, got a microwave. The milk, warm milk is great. Yeah, and then yeah, so yeah, freaking up. Yeah, and then <sighs> run the city like marathon. Run a city like marathon. Very fun. 
Black, 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 Boys in the hood, y'all, with an attitude, bitch. Yeah. Uh, yo, uh, right now. Try me in the club, cool love. I can give up, I can tell up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still running up on the city like marathon. Jump, 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 when it's back, man. Boys in the young, what a hell of a dream. Uh, hot clip, hey, tired of, of your man. Is that high unknown un unknown? What's going on unknown? Hold on, I got something for you. 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 Uh, you cold? No. Well, a little bit. I'm a little bit cold. It's been cold in here all day. Yeah. Yeah. When I was jogging early, I was freezing cold. Yeah. What's going on with you? It's been a while. Hey, you must have changed your profile name because I don't recognize that profile name or the profile picture. And then I'm with Tucson, you with 217. Oh, okay, you the, well, you the Uncle Tom dude to be hanging with him? You the Uncle Tom to be hanging with him, okay. Think you slipped up on my counters? You think it's a game? You think it's a game? You think it's a game, Bengals? You think it's a game? Up on my counters, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? His heart beat fast too. He heard me coming, his heart beat fast. I said, uh, what happened to your other account? My other accounts got suspended indefinitely, permanently, or I forgot my email and password and couldn't get back in them. That's why I got so many accounts running around her because I got suspended permanently on four of them. And then the other ones, the other ones, I freaking uh, forgot the email and password. Uh, Benigo, yeah, just about asked about Benigo, yeah. And yeah, he was up on the counters. I had to take him down. I had to get him, get him off the counters.
Is the he he one mean looking kitty? Oh yeah, yeah. He was just biting me a second ago because he didn't like the way I was caressing. He didn't like how I was caressing. Yeah, he's mean. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you so where did you okay? Oh yeah, uh, who is that? I don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 80s thing. Hey, 80s thing. Hey, 80s thing. I said, uh, what's up, yo, cook? What's going on with you? What's going on with you, guap? I said, 80s thing. He's going crazy. What about the word? Is that how you doing and why you got a coat on in the house? Is that hey, better go, you getting the sunshine? Is that cabbage? Why I got a coat on in the house? Why is everybody asking me that? Uh, Y'all been sitting around talking about going there and ask Cliff why you got a coat on. Y'all been sitting there in a group chat talking about going there and ask Cliff why you got a coat on. Everybody keep asking me that. Yeah. I'm leaving in a couple hours. That's why I got a coat on, because I need to get ready. So I'm already ready when I get in the car to go get these groceries. Yeah. And then, all right, Cliff, I got to go, man. I, it was good talking to you. Good talking to you, too. So, yeah, you got a puffer on in the house. Yeah. And then... Not you put the hood on. Oh, yeah. The kitty cat. Kitty Cat Manjetti. Kitty Cat Manjetti. Cat Manjettis. Get, get the stunner shades on and all. I got the stunner shades on and go. You look cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. The shades is a minute ago. And then uh, blocking them haters. <laughs> Why do you call them hater blockers? Yeah, yeah, they call them hater blockers, blocking them haters, yeah. Got my hater blockers on. Got my hater blockers on. Yeah, I'm in the living room. I'm in the living room. I had some shades just like that. Can't seem to find them. What you trying to say, Caesar? What? What you trying to say, Caesar? What? You know where I got them from. You know where I got them from. I'm back.
<laughs> He's gonna bite my neck. Ah, he bit my cheek. He bit my cheek. He bit my cheek. And then get your butt down. So Benny bit my cheek. Is like keep your behind out that dang camera. Yeah. Showing all his hand pots. Showing all his hand pots. Hand pots. I don't know what that is. Hand pots. Oh, hand parts. Hand parts. Okay. No, he said no, he can't. He's gonna bite my lips. He's gonna go up to my lips. And he don't like that. Is the cat Majetti show you? Yeah. He gonna tear you up, Cliff. Oh yeah. I better leave him alone before he get a hold of my lip. He then got a hold of my bottom lip twice. I pull back real slow to try to get it away from him. Try to get my lip away from him. Cause if I pull fast, he gonna rip it. He left a little blood bump right inside my lip once. That's a little cut inside my lip. Yeah. While I was kissing him on the side of his face. He, he reached over. Got the bottom lip. I was like, oh! Oh, he did try to, oh, and then finally I pulled away from him, pulled him, pulled him away. So I bought him in Indiana, paid 3000 for him, paid 3000 for him. I'm selling him for 5000 I'm selling him for 5000 Paid 3000 for him, I'm selling him for 5000 Yeah. I said, I'll be back. I said, you ain't selling Captain Jetty. said, Cliff, you remember that one time you draw a man riding a horse? Yep. And got a cold content. I think you was the one that told me to draw. And I got cold, got a content violation for. Yeah, because they tried to make it look like the, they was doing something inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Cold, and cold got me, gave me a content violation. Yeah, and put, when I made that, they put an account warning, an account warning on my account for that that picture, with a horse, with a horse was riding the man. Yeah. Yeah.
Hi, Foshay. Hi, Foshay. And uh, you still walking? No, you still, uh, you still waiting, still waiting on what? So you, you cold? Cause yeah, I'm cold. I'm cold. Yep, yeah, cold. The heat start working. The heat start working. He go climb in there, get my spoon. He, he climb, get my spoons out the sink. As a, uh, are you cold? Uh, you're not leaving. I'm not leaving yet. He keep climbing in the sink, getting my spoons. Yeah. Leave my spoons on. Look at him. Look at him. He keep climbing in there, get my spoons out the sink. You see that spoon on the floor right there? Yeah. And then, where you live, Clip, North Carolina. And then, and then, Martin Wynn. The heat went out. The, what do you mean your heat stopped working? My heat stopped working. It stopped working. There was, was a thunderstorm earlier. There was a thunderstorm earlier. It knocked the power lines upside down. There was a lot of water all up in the street. <laughs> snap, snap two of the power lines in half back there in the back. Knocked the power line down in the street. Yeah. yeah. There was some dude outside walking with a raincoat on a hoodie. When it fell, he took off running. He took off running. When he seen him sparking in the street like a little snake flopping around the street, he took off running. Yeah. Don't you call the property manager to fix it? As in, uh, that they still ain't fixing it. I call the property manager? Hey, I can't call the property manager. I, I'm not. I don't pay rent here. They don't even know we stand here. They don't. They don't even know we stand here. We we went ahead and took a credit card and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but the door was unlocked. You know what I'm saying. And we just moved all our stuff in. You know we got the the squatters law. They gotta give us ninety days. If they find out we're here, they gotta give us like ninety days before they can kick us out. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, they don't they don't know we here yet. They don't know we here yet. You know what I'm what do you mean? Yeah, they, they don't know we here yet. Yeah, we've been living here for like three years, four years. The, the landlord don't even know we here. Yeah. Hey, Y'all, you're playing around, right? Oh, okay. So they still ain't fixed it? Oh, no, I'm not playing. No. We ain't paid bills. We ain't paid bills. Three or four years. We we've been squatting here. We've been squatting here. Yeah. And I don't know why we why we moved all this stuff, man. I don't know why we moved all this stuff in. I mean, if you ain't paying bills, you might as well just leave the apartment empty. Have the clothes on your back and some food in the fridge and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And something to sleep on, you know? Yeah. And because any minute you could be is at Cliff and Clip, fly, and heck today, said I. I said, hi, Clip, where are we going? I don't know yet. That that a good law? They need that law in California here. Yeah. Oh, well, don't tell them y'all there. I ain't going to tell them, but y'all make sure y'all don't tell them either. Y'all make sure y'all don't tell them either. Cause I'm putting all my business on blast on social media. Yeah. Is that oh, yeah. Like Caesar went down the comment. No, tell us so. You know my homeboy, that's the way I used to find him apartments. I used to go to apartments and uh and I would the patio door sometimes be unlocked. And then I that's his apartment right there. You know what I'm The sliding door is unlocked. I'll go ahead and say, all right, okay, you can't stay with me, but I found your apartment. I'll I'll, I'll go in and check the water and check see if the heat work and it works. I'll be like, yeah, you can have an apartment with heat and water, you know what I'm saying? 
it being there just living it up. I said, don't leave your stuff laying around. He'll leave all kinds of snack wrappers laying around, his back, backpack, a backpack full of clothes, all those scattered on him. I said, those people come in here, where you going to stay then? Then I'm going to have to find you somewhere else to stay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just go around finding apartments for, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because he was sleeping in the elevator shaft in a tore down hotel room. He was sleeping inside the elevator shaft, freezing winter time. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, a, a abandoned hotel, with the Continental Continental Inn Apartments, Continental I mean Continental Square, a Continental Square yeah it was Continental Square Apartments, I mean uh, not apartments hotel. He was sleeping in the elevator shaft, so I had to go around finding him apartments with a and the screen the screen back uh, patio door was slide open. If it was if the patio door was open, then I would go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And how do y'all flush the toilet? Uh, we, pour, we, we pour water. We pour water. I'll get a bucket of water and pour, dump it in the toilet, and then everything go down. Everything go down the toilet. Yeah. Get a big old bucket and dump it in the toilet full of water. And boom. Because the water work. You know what I'm saying? The toilet don't flush, but the water work. Now I'm just putting the toilet flush. I just let the toilet flush, but if the toilet didn't flush, I just get a big old bucket of water and pour it down the toilet. So basically, your it's your house now. Oh yeah, I took control of it. Took control of this situation. Oh yeah, it's mine now. I said, how will you know someone don't live there? Uh, because it be empty, nothing but carpet and walls. Nothing but carpet and walls. No furniture whatsoever. Yeah. No furniture whatsoever in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told him, make sure you sleep there. You sleep there, take baths there, and you're out in the morning. You're out by the morning. You know what I'm saying? And come back every night, sleep there. There was somebody right up the street sleeping. In some, the, the, the people up the street moved out. Somebody kept breaking the door off the hinges. Just turned the back door down, and there was a homeless person sleeping in that house right up the street. And now there's a family moved in. Now a family moved in, but there was a homeless person. And then the maintenance man come, put another door on, cleaned up the inside of the apartment, fixed everything that the homeless dude tore up. And then as soon as the maintenance man left, the door was ripped off the hinges later on that night. I was on the, getting off the bus. I said, the maintenance man just fixed it. The door was ripped off the hinges later on that night, and somebody else was back up in there. Yeah. Probably the same person said, uh, did you go to Walmart already? No, I ain't been to Walmart yet. Yeah. And that an electric free are you or are, are do you run a generator? Well see back in the day the electric and the water used to be on. But now they don't cut the electric and water on no more unless you're renting out the apartment. So, you know, I run a generator. I run a generator. You know what I'm saying? But right now my generator down. My generator stopped working, so I need to hus hustle up the money. I need to hustle up the money to get me another generator. For right now the generator down. That's a dang shame. <laughs> what's the what's the on shame of uh, 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 Black Daisy? Is it because I'm squatting? Or is it because the dude up the street kept going in there after the maintenance man would Fix the fix the door and clean out the apartment and everything, and then the homeless dude would go back in there later on that day and say, "That's that yes yeah that makes sense is that, so you're not paying to live there, nope. Free world baby, free world but it's a homeless man's world, I mean not a homeless it's a poor man's world not a homeless man's world it's a poor man's world baby, it's a poor man's world." Is that people live free and turn up. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a poor man's world, baby. A poor man's world. You know what's poor man got to do? What we got to do? You know what I'm saying? It's a poor man's world. Living in a different world. Living in a different world. Is that you in New York? For a year, it was also. Is I squatted in New York 
for a year. It was a, I squatted in Maine with my mom. Yeah, she took a credit card and got the door unlocked. That was back when you could unlock doors with credit cards. And we was in an apartment. Had a, had a bunk bed in there. Three levels. Top bunk, middle bunk, and bottom bunk. And there was a bed over there on the other side. There wasn't no toilet. The toilet, the bathroom was torn up. Wasn't no toilet in the... Wasn't no toilet in the freaking... Uh, in the freaking uh, bathroom. There wasn't no toilet. The to floor was all torn up. Just chunks of wood just sticking up everywhere. Splinters everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And there was uh, two dead bodies wrapped up in sheets back there in the back of the bathroom. Two dead bodies up in there wrapped up in sheets. And uh, next door was a mansion. Next door, we were looking through the peephole next door in the, the door hole. And there was uh, these little clear kids. There was four little clear kids playing around. Uh, all the walls was white. The stirrups was white. Everything in there was white. The kids had on white robes, white robes running around. Look like angels. Look like angels. We looking through the people. They come back looking through the people at us. They put a piece of toilet paper in the people so we couldn't see them. Tell me why when we tried to pull the toilet paper out and push the toilet paper back in so we could see them. We couldn't get the toilet paper out this way. We are going to put the toilet paper in that way. I think, and then I find out later on, years later, that there was an abandoned, burnt down apartment next door. When we seen them kids, and they was in all white. And the stairs were white, the walls were white, everything was white. That was a burnt down apartment next door. A burnt down apartment. And uh, it was a burnt down apartment. Yeah. The uh, the family that was there uh, passed away in the fire. Yeah. I'm like, why, why, why we see kids in there that was playing around and had all white garments, like lingerie, like uh, nightgowns on, nightgowns on. The, the boys had like little white pajama pants and white little uh, pajama t shirt. And the girls had white little. Like it was like lace, like like, like designs in the lace, as a uh, and it was a white pajama, uh, dress like long dress like pajama, yeah, yeah. Is that you sang a blues now? I said it. Is it cold out? I said I was going yes. But we we passed through New York. We we stopped in New York, stayed in some shelters in New York before we went to Maine. I said it was go yeah. That's why we come when they just how 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 does a hole and it, well, it wasn't a hole it was like a door it wasn't a, we wanted the, they wanted the keyhole my bad it was like the door knob was off and we was looking in there and seen them playing around in there they put a big old wad of toilet paper about the side of the baseball put it in there we try to push it that way we could yeah try to put put it out just, tell me why it, toilet paper is easy you just push it you know it was like they put a lock up like the toilet paper was the lock it was like they put that and we could yeah. Yeah, they was ghosts. They was angels or something, demons or something, ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, there was a burnt down apartment next door. The whole, the whole family died up. We looking through. Yeah. And we saw what they wanted us to see. Yeah. But if we would saw reality, it had been a bunch of chark, chark, charked up stuff. A charked up apartment next door. Yeah. What's up, good people? So said, uh, you ever squat in Ohio? Uh, ever squat in Ohio? Uh, I don't think. I lived in a... Covington, I I used to go visit family in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I never squatted in Ohio. Yeah, never squatted in Ohio. I said, uh, Are you a squatter? How many times I gotta tell y'all? I ain't gonna keep repeat myself. I squat in dating for six months. You in dating for six months? Yeah. I wasn't even here. I just joined ch Chill. Uh. Well, how you know? How you know about me squat? Uh, if I'm a squatter or not? If you want her, yeah. I guess somebody went running back to you, telling you in your inbox what's going on over here, and you come over here, mermaid. 
If you ask code, it says join mon join my mon combo. Yeah. Yeah. Join mid combo, okay, yeah. Yeah. We about oh, okay. We about to leave. Oh, okay. Could it be all okay. good? Let me go, go, yo. Let me go, yo.